Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and this is just gonna be just jam-packed full of a bunch of random things <laughs> that I just didn't want to make single videos on each one because that would just put us past the 300 episode marker that I want to try to hit around the time when the movie comes out next week. And plus next week we're going to do a lot of videos counting down to the release of the movie. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff we got to cover. So today I'm just going to try to squeeze all this in one because it's a bunch of little things and it'll prevent me from talking about spoilers. So if you're worried about spoilers, don't worry. I'm not going to talk about them in this episode. I thought about it and I'm not going to. Uh, so there's just some new clips that came out there. Obviously, you know, some of you have been seeing it on Twitter, so I would say if you don't want to see anything from this movie, uh, definitely get off social media right now uh, because there's going to be a review embargo, as we talked about last episode, lifting on October 2nd, which is next week. And then also leading up to that, there's a lot of clips coming out and apparently a new trailer coming out on Friday. Um, and then we also saw that Channel 4 on Twitter was posting, uh, and this is like a channel in uh, the UK, and they were talking about that they're doing some promotional information or promotional uh, you know, clips and stuff for Venom uh, starting on Friday. And so there's a big thing happening on Friday. We're going to get a new trailer. It's the final trailer for the movie. I will probably do a trailer reaction to it because I don't see how I'm going to be able to avoid watching a trailer. So you'll probably see a reaction you know, this weekend from me. And if you don't want any spoilers, I would say don't watch that episode because I imagine it's the final trailer. They're probably going to do you know, show a few new things in there to try to get us to go see this movie, mass audiences and fans alike. Uh, so I doubt they're going to show us too much of, they're going to show us some things that we've already seen, I'm sure, but they're going to probably squeeze in a lot of new stuff. And I know a lot of you guys don't want to see any more new stuff. I kind of don't either, but I'm going to watch it anyway. So, uh, so, so yeah, I'm going to do that on the show for you guys. So hopefully you guys out there that will watch it, you'll see my trailer reaction. Um, so I'll put a link to Channel 4 and everything down below. Uh, obviously, the new clips that are out there, there's some new interviews out there. I saw Tom Hardy, Riz Ahmed. They did a couple interviews together. And uh, there was one in particular where, like, the uh, the guy interviewing them did, like, a Bane impression uh, in front of Tom Hardy. And uh, it's like... Sometimes I see these guys and they're like kind of young millennial dudes and they're just like, yeah, I'm talking to Tom Hardy and they get kind of swept up in the moment because he's a very charismatic guy. So is Riz Ahmed and they start talking about regular everyday things and they kind of lose track of what they're supposed to be doing there, which is be professional and, you know, be on an interview and not do Bane voices <laughs> in front of the actor who played Bane. Um, it just, uh, you know, we talked about that. Go back in earlier episodes, I called a couple uh, journalists out and uh, reporters out for the way they behave around uh, other people. And it's like, I get it. You get a little starstruck. You get a little lost for words. You kind of mumble and ramble and stuff. I totally get it. But try to keep your composure and uh, and don't do stupid things. I'm sure Tom Hardy ultimately didn't care. But for us fans, I know it was like, for me, when I watched it, I was like, oh, dude, <laughs> like, come on, man. Um so anyway, yeah, uh, that, that aside, you know, that little rant aside, um, there's a lot of stuff coming up too. Walmart is doing a big thing. I saw them post and also the Venom movie. I'm going to put a link to the Twitter account because that's where a lot of this stuff is coming from. So again, if you want to avoid spoilers, you know, stay away from the Venom social media account because they're just dropping clips and information left and right. Uh, but Walmart did talk about how they're releasing the Funko Pops uh, today. I think they came out now uh, so you can pick them up. I think the Ghost Rider Venom is the exclusive one at Walmart. I kind of want that one to be honest with you. Um, uh, I'm not a big Funko Pop collector, but Ghost Rider and Venom mixed together. That's awesome. And I saw, I think it was Reese or someone the other day posted uh, that they're like, oh, did you know, like, fun fact about Venom, he's immune to uh, Ghost Rider's penance there. And I love that because we talked about that in the show before, how uh, that happened in the Web of Venom crossover event. And uh, I really like that. It was a power of Venoms that I forgot about. And the, the alien symbiote cannot be affected by a creature from hell. And so I thought that was really cool. It's a neat little uh, Venom trivia, and I'm glad Reese put it out there. So that was awesome of Reese. Uh, and then also there's some DVD covers. Some people posted a week or two ago a uh, shot of the uh, Blu-ray of Spider-Man Homecoming, and it had Venom, like, symbiote wrapped around it. Well, apparently this is marketing for the movie. So a lot of uh, movies that Sony put out there uh, and that they worked on and distributed and stuff, like uh, the uh, Underworld movies and things like that, uh, they are wrapping those DVD cases and Blu-ray cases with Venom symbiote stuff. So it's just like a promotion, kind of what Deadpool did, where he inserted himself in a bunch of classic movie posters. That's kind of what they're doing here with Venom. Uh, so they're just going to put symbiotes on all the stuff. Doesn't look too exciting to me. I probably won't buy any. Although it wouldn't be bad to own, I guess, some of the Underworld movies. I haven't seen all of them, so maybe it'd be interesting to watch all of them in order at some point. Um, so yeah, that's coming out, and that's already out now, I think, from Walmart. Uh, there's also the comic book tie-in. The, the social media has been pu pushing that a lot. So uh, if you go and follow them on Twitter, at Venom Movie, you'll see links to the comic book if you haven't read it yet, and the information of AMC giving them out on opening weekend if you buy a ticket at AMC Theaters, participating AMC Theaters. Um, another thing I saw that uh, coming out Friday is that 
because I, I retweeted it. Uh, the Venom movie said, hey, if you retweet this, like let Eddie Brock know that you support him or something like that, and you'll get some information. And then so I retweeted it, and it, they hit me back with, uh, do we have a deal? Like they have like one-liners from the movie, uh, from the trailers that we've seen so far, and they'll, they'll tweet you back with, do we have a deal or some other lines in the movie, and it'll say, tune in on Friday for a special ticket offer for the movie. So I'm really curious what that's going to be about, uh, what the special ticket offer is. So I haven't bought my second Friday ticket yet. I got my midnight showing on Thursday tickets, but I haven't bought my Friday ticket yet. So I'm going to wait and see what this offer is, and I'll probably use that offer to buy my Friday ticket if it's something like a poster or if it's something else. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so make sure you keep an eye on the Venom social media, especially the Twitter account uh, on Friday, because they're going to be uh, putting ticket information out there. I think their Facebook and Instagram will probably do that too. Um, Another thing is the Talent House contest, the one that was, you know, everyone sent in their posters. They announced their winners, so I'll put a link down below so you can go check those out. Um, I couldn't get the images, rip them from the site, so I could show them to you guys and shout out those artists. Uh, I was unable to for the way the, so the website's designed, uh, but that's okay. At least I'll put the link down below so you can go check it out for yourself and scroll through them. It looks awesome. There's a lot of great uh, pictures and posters that were made, and uh, some of them, they didn't follow the rules. I think the rule was, like, have Venom fighting uh, Riot, but I think when they got a lot of submissions that didn't have that, they were like, all right, we'll just pick the best ones, <laughs> you know, like whether they have Riot in it or not, or the battle in it or not. But there are a couple in there that show them fighting, but there are a lot, most of them are not uh, of a fight going on, and they're just like really cool artsy posters. One I really liked, it was like Eddie Brock and his shadow on the wall was the Venom shadow. I actually kind of like that one. That one was pretty cool. Very simple, but I felt very effective. So those will be art prints that will come out to uh, promote the movie as well. Uh, and they went, they upped it. They were going to pick five winners. They ended up picking ten winners. So that's really cool. More people got their art out there and noticed, but then even the people that didn't win, they're still you know featured on the website and you can still check out their stuff and their names are still getting out there, which is really cool. And I wish them luck in future contests and, uh, and hopefully they win those ones. Um, and then con big congrats again to all the winners as well. Uh, so yeah, I have my little Eddie Brock journal here going through everything. Uh, a small thing on a personal level, Golden Apple Comics is having Venom Day on Saturday. Um, and I'm very bummed out that I'm working Saturday and I can't attend. And Ryan's really great over at Golden Apple. They do a lot of fun events. I don't know if anyone's going to show up. I, if you guys seen at Golden Apple, the entire cast of the Avengers Infinity War movie uh, showed up to that, uh, to that store and did a big thing there. Uh, I don't know if Tom Hardy or anything will be there. I know he's in L.A. right now and they've you know, seen him in promotional stuff uh, and he's like running around and stuff doing things here uh, you know getting ready for the movie to come out uh, so he has been spotted in LA so I don't know if he'll stop by that event I, I don't know it would be awesome but I don't think so uh, but uh, but that would be great if he did and so hopefully anyone out here in the LA area if you get to go you know record it film it send me any footage and I'll feature it on the show for sure because unfortunately I can't go and cover it myself I apologize just uh, you know I got to be professional at my job and, and, and work when they need me to work uh, but that'll be really cool. So Golden Apple Comics, link down below. Check them out. Uh, their link is always down below. They sponsor the show. Uh, so uh, so big shout out to them for doing a Venom Day. And they have all those cool Venom posters outside leading up to the store, which is just going to be fun. So you'll be surrounded by Venom stuff when you go there. And you can spin a wheel and win tickets to, oh right, that screening that's October 3rd next week for fans. Uh, and some press who couldn't get into the earlier screenings. So yes, uh, that you could also win tickets to that event uh, here in L.A., uh, on October 3rd at the Golden Apple thing on Saturday. So if you're in the area, go check them out. I think the event starts at 1 p.m. and you can spin a wheel and win premiere tickets, win posters from the movie, win a lot of cool stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Go support that comic store. They're awesome. And tell them the Venom Vlog sent you and Seek sent you and, uh, and Ryan would really love that. Um, and then also the last thing I want to talk about is the Sony uh, Sony Square NYC. There's a big event Sony had uh, in in uh, New York this past week. I think it was a couple days ago, um, and uh, and it, they showed off the Abo or Ibo or whatever it is, like that little robot dog, and they had like this big Sony event there. Well, Tom Hardy actually showed up, uh, courtesy of Lollipop Theater, and I'll put a link to their Twitter account down below. This is a uh, uh, organization that helps uh, patients, uh, you know, kids that are have ailments, that are sick, that ha are going through a lot of really rough stuff, um, who are, uh, you know, uh, connecting them, basically using this organization to connect them with celebrities and stars, to bring them hope, to visit them, uh, you know, to make them smile, um, and to, you know, connect with them. 
on personal levels and get to know them. And it seems like a really sweet organization, uh, you know, very, very, you know, good goals with their organization and uh, the patients they work with, they're adorable kids. And Tom Hardy was nice enough and obviously set up by Sony since it's a big Sony event. He came by with his motorcycle from the movie and posed with pictures with the kids and met the kids and, and signed stuff for them. So that was really awesome. So I, I have that picture up here, I think, uh, but that event looked like it was a lot of fun and that was really cool of Tom Hardy to go and meet kids. And I know some people are like, oh, Venom isn't for kids, Venom isn't for kids. We've talked about that on the show before, how uh, that there was like a four-year-old kid at Golden Apple who was like just mesmerized by this Venom poster when the web of Venom poster came out and he was just transfixed by it. And uh, so I was like, hey, it's a free poster. And the mom, they just got out of church. And the mom's like, I don't know if I want that hanging in my son's room. But the son was, he was four years old. And he was like, yeah, but he looks so cool, mom. Uh, you know, there's something about Venom. He has a very simple look. And even though he's a monster, and he's kind of scary looking. There's something captivating about him. We can all agree that he has a very awesome look to him. And that's what draws us to the character overall is how he looks and, and how simple it is, but how effective it is. Uh, and, uh, and that he looks like an evil Spider-Man in, in a sense. Uh, but this kid was, you know, locked on. And that, that seems to happen a lot. You know, even Donny Cates has said that when he was three or four years old, he was gravitated to the look of Venom based on the comic books his dad was reading, uh, the Spider-Man comics where he first appeared. So, you know, to say Venom isn't for kids, I don't know about that. <laughs> He's not maybe originally designed for that. But uh, he, you know, he has become that, you know, he is something for everyone. Everyone is allowed to have their own version of the character. And a lot of kids do watch Venom on the Spider-Man cartoons that are targeted to four to six to eight year olds. So, uh, you know, there's enough Venom out there for all of us. And uh, there's enough interpretations out there for all of us to enjoy at least one of them. Uh, so that was pretty cool that he went and did that and met those kids. So I have that picture up and then I have the links to everything I talked about down below. And that was a lot of information. So I have nothing else for you guys today. I'm going to go continue moving and packing up stuff. Uh, but, you know, everything else, I'm going to wait till Friday to see what the ticket offer is and to see what else, uh, you know, the movie's going to offer, the trailer we're going to do reaction to. We'll do all that stuff on Friday and I'll post it as soon as I can on Friday night for you guys. And then we'll also dive back into Dark Avengers, and we'll try to wrap up those storylines and those episodes before the movie comes out next week. I'm so excited. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and we'll continue our conversation down there. See you in the future. Peace.